Hello everybody, I hope you had a wonderful Christmas. We are back from Florida and as you can see, it's a rather gloomy day. Kitty cat in the window, yes. And um, I thought today would be the perfect time to share some of my gifts that I got for Christmas. Now I normally, you know, show all of the gifts, but I stopped doing that because I realized that it seemed like I was boistering a little too much and I never wanted to come across that way. So if you don't see a gift, that you gave me in this video, please don't get upset um, because, you know, I only picked a few things to share. Um, another thing is Scott and I went to Florida and we decided that we both wanted two big items. I wanted a new Camry, he wants a new bedroom fish tank. So we still have yet to buy those. We're gonna go shopping in the coming days or the coming weeks and we'll both get those gifts then. But if you want to see some of my favorite gifts from this year, just keep watching. So everybody knows who watches my vlogs. And by the way, I vlogged all through Christmas in Florida. And you can check out my other channel if you're interested in watching those. But everybody who knows me knows that I am a Nike girl through and through. So my husband got me these Nike shocks these pink and white Nike shocks. And usually at Christmas and on my birthday, I get new Nikes. Um, I am a Nike girl and um, I wear tennis shoes almost every day. And to me, the shocks feel really good on my feet. These are super comfortable. And these, I wear five and a half in women. So these are four and a half in use, which was you know nice because we were able to save like $20. So, Super happy with these. I have already been wearing them. I wore them the day after Christmas. So um, I have been enjoying these. They are super comfortable and super cute. Another thing that I got that was really, really nice was this photo book from my sister. Now, I think homemade gifts are really nice and this kind of falls into the line of maybe a homemade gift because I think they mean more. And in this book, she's got pictures of our family, pictures of me and her and me and my mom. Here we all are when we took the cruise. Here we are last year this time. And I just absolutely adore this. Um, my sister got my mom one too. And um, I just think they're amazing. So I love that gift. So here's another homemade gift, or semi-homemade, from my sister to my husband. She took a six pack of Corona bottles. And I'm sure you guys have seen this on Pinterest. She made them look like reindeer. And what I find so nice about this is that it's a gift that will obviously get used. Um, and it's adorable. She took the time to put on the little eyes and the red noses and the um, pipe cleaners. But a gift like this is so nice to get. You don't have to spend a lot on people. You can, you know, make something that is not so homemade a little more homemade and special by just doing little touches like this. So I love this and um, I thought it was so creative and so sweet, and I know my husband will drink these up. Another item I got were these Eyler brushes. Now my mom knows that I love, love, love makeup brushes. So she got me this set, this large set. Let's see if I can fold it back and bring it up. Of brushes, look at those. And um, I have never used the Eyler brushes before. Um, I'm gonna wash them all first and then, you know, I'll review them. I like that they're not like map dupes or anything like that. I like that they stick to their own. Um, but they seem like pretty nice quality and I just can't wait to use them. And buying me one makeup brush or 24 will make me just as happy because I love makeup brushes. She also got my sister a set too, but I love those. Another gift that I loved a lot, and it's gonna take me a while, is this book. And it's called 
my life story. You see it? And this is an 11 year, uh, no 11, a 100 year diary. It's titled My Life Story. Look how thick it is. When you open it up, there's some things, you know, you can fill out. I hope you can see this. There's some things you can fill out. Things about your body. You can mark where you've traveled. You can mark 50 things to do before you die. Your bucket list. So you have room in here for that. And then... I mean, there's so much jobs, never forget, and then you move into the diary part, and so it starts with spring and the year, and then you move on through it, and there's a page, there's a hundred pages in here, there's even little sections like this that says, picture of me this year where you add a picture and there's so many things in this book that are interesting I am totally in love with this it's a full lifetime diary and I think you know I might have to try one of these for my daughter um, I think that this is a great gift to buy somebody um, and you can see on the back of the box how other people have designed theirs take a look Hopefully it's in focus. And um, it says it's got an About Me page, a World Map, an Education page, an Awards and Accomplishments page, Usefulness and Usefulness, Skills, Jobs, 50 Things to Do Before You Die, Homes That You've Lived, and much more. And I am just in love with this book. I can't wait to start using it. I'm going to use it spring of 2014. So, this is my new diary, you guys. Um, I can't wait. Fits nicely into this, into this um, little case like that. But the truth is, once it starts filling up, kind of like it shows here, it's not going to fit in that case anymore. But the back says, this is a 100-year diary for you to record the events of your lifetime. It will help you to remember the special moments you will never want to forget, the people you have loved, the friends you have made, the places where you have lived, and those that have tra those you have traveled to. You can record all of your achievements as well as your skills, make a note of your favorite films, book, music, people, and write down all your ambitions and things you want to do before you die. A map of the world and one of your body is included and can be filled as you choose. Every year you can write about what important things are happening in your life and include photos and memorabilia. If you are too young to fill it out right now, someone else can fill it in for you. Things like your first steps, first words, first days at school. This is a story of your life. Treasure it always. So, I love this. And I'm probably going to have to look for this and steal this idea. Um, and send it to a few people that um, I'd like to give this to myself. So I love this. Thank you, Mom. And my sister also got me the W7 palette, 10 out of 10. Now this is, she's been in England, so this is a European brand that we don't get here. Here they are. It's my phone, and we're just going to let it ring. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I'll have to do swatches and get them up on the blog really soon. But I absolutely can't wait to use this. And anybody who buys um, makeup for me, I, I love. Because I love makeup so much. And I can maybe use those new brushes to go with it. Another gift I got that I loved a whole lot are these very dainty and beautiful measuring scoops. And they have scripture quotes in it. Be still and know that I am God. It's right on the inside. See? Aren't those adorable? I don't think I'll use them, but I will hang them in my kitchen and um, make sure that they are seen. 
because I love them a lot. Another thing that I'm definitely interested to try is the Moist Hemp Body Moisturizer. My mom got this for me. It's for dry skin, and I can't wait to start using it. I want to do a review. Um, I just can't wait, so I'm going to use that in the coming days. And the last thing that, no, not the last thing, but one of the last, second to last things is this Deep Blue Kids Bible. Now, Marjorie Scott's mom, or stepmom, got this for him um, because he still had the children's Bible and he needed like one step up. So let me show you. The Deep Blue Kids Bible has his name engraved in the cover. I love that. And this Bible is just a still more kid oriented. And you can see, oh, she inscripted it 1245 Jackson. May you learn and grow from this tool for living, Grandma Marjorie and Keith. To Jackson, love Keith and Marjorie, Christmas. 2013. I didn't even know she inscribed it until just now. And this is a kid's Bible still, but it's still one step up from the kid's Bible that he was reading. So you can see that um, it's written really nice um, and it's got the silver trim on the, on the edges and it explains in the front how to use it. Um, and I just think it would be wonderful for him to take into church and have something a little more grown up than the Bible that he currently has. He also has the Action Bible. I have a video. I'll try to link below to it if I remember. Um, and he's just growing up, so we are, you know, getting him Bibles to each, um, H group, I guess, if you will. I figure he'll have this for two or three years um, and then we'll move on into the next step up. But let me show you. I'm going to come up close to the camera and show you something. This cross, can you see it? I hope you can. So this cross got bought me, I think, in 2005. I think. And it's a diamond cross, and I know we paid almost like $450 for this one piece. And I remember that because I thought that the chain looked cheap for the pretty cross. Well, we were in Florida when he bought this, and I lost it. I lost it at his family's home. And for years, I've, you know, wanted this cross. Um, I wanted to... Um, have it and we spent so much money on it and you know I'm not a big person I don't wear a ton of jewelry I just don't really care about jewelry that much but I usually always have a cross on and this year I was surprised by Marjorie who found my necklace so I'm so thankful to have my diamond cross back you'll see it in more videos because I wear it often I do like the clear like um, fishing line almost kind of um, chains or you know whatever um, and I still might change the chain on this but I'm so happy to have that cross back it was a wonderful Christmas present just to get this back um, because I wanted it so bad and um, yeah I'm totally happy so I switched out this is white gold and diamonds and the other one is yellow gold that I normally wear so you might see me switch them out depending on what I'm wearing but I, I planned on getting a platinum wedding band, and we weren't married when I got this, but um, this was Scott's mom's, and it was gold. We got the wrap ourselves um, because it was just, it's just like that, and then we got the wrap that goes around it, but that was yellow gold, and that was already after I lost this necklace, but I'm so happy to have it back. I don't mind mixing yellow and white gold. I used to mind it, but I don't anymore, and um, I'm very thankful to have it back. So, this cross got bought me, I think, in 2005, I think. And it's a diamond cross, and I know we paid almost like $450 for this one piece. And I remember that because I thought that the chain looked cheap 
for the pretty cross. Well, we were in Florida when he bought this and I lost it. I lost it at his family's home. And for years I've, you know, wanted this cross. Um, I wanted to um, have it and we spent so much money on it. And you know, I'm not a big person. I don't wear a ton of jewelry. I just don't really care about jewelry that much. But I usually always have a cross on. And this year I was surprised by Marjorie who found my necklace. So I'm so thankful to have my diamond cross back. You'll see it in more videos because I wear it often. I do like the clear, like, um, fishing line almost kind of, um, chains or, you know, whatever. Um, and I still might change the chain on this, but I'm so happy to have that cross back. It was a wonderful Christmas present just to get this back, um, because I wanted it so bad. And, um... Yeah, I'm totally happy. So I switched out. This is white gold and diamonds, and the other one is yellow gold that I normally wear. So you might see me switch them out depending on what I'm wearing, but I, I plan on getting a platinum wedding band, and we weren't married when I got this, but um, this was Scott's mom's, and it was gold. We got the wrap ourselves um, because it was just, it was just like that. And then we got the wrap that goes around it. But that was yellow gold, and that was already after I lost this necklace. But I'm so happy to have it back. I don't mind mixing yellow and white gold. I used to mind it, but I don't anymore. And um, I'm very thankful to have it back. So that is all I'm sharing um, with you now. Um, but I will show you the camera when I get it and the fish tank um, when those items come. We just, you know, we just got home. He's still working, and it's going to take, a, you know, probably a few weeks for us to get together and get everything settled and put away, and then we'll go out and get the camera and his big bedroom fish tank. But um, I hope all of you had a wonderful Christmas. And, you know, it, the gifts didn't really matter to me this year except for the little kids. Besides that, I didn't care what I got. I didn't... Um, spend a ton on other people. I gave them like one gift and then a whole bunch of homemade gifts. Um, but I thought this year was a change because, you know, a lot of years I've gotten so tangled up in <sighs> buying presents and going in debt and worrying and trying to please everybody. This year really didn't feel that way to me. It was more about gathering with her family and friends and making the most of our time together above any gift. The gifts were a bonus. The time with my family and Scott's family, which is still my family, um, was the most blessing, no, the most blessed time of the year for me because we came together, we had such a good time, and that's what Christmas is about to me, is spending it with your family, your friends, your loved ones, and the gifts are bonuses, but they're not, you know, where it starts and ends, at least not for me and my family. But thank you for watching. I have a question and video coming up. I have a conscious box opening coming up. I have lots of videos planned for the new year. Just keep watching um, and check them back to see what's new. If you're new here and have not um, subscribed yet, take a second and subscribe so you don't miss any videos. You can check out my blog at kjaggers.com. And I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.